Welcome to Tech Toys 360, your VIP access to the most innovative toys of the 21st century. We scoured the globe to bring you the best in technical gadgets, super distinct products, and uber powerful vehicles. From the progressive to the inspiring. So sit down, strap in, and prepare to experience the latest in tech toys. On this episode of Tech Toys 360, discover a high altitude turbine helicopter, a bulletproof security vehicle, a super bike with zero emission, a hydration system for cyclists, and a foosball table that gets a $10,000 makeover. If your idea of a pleasant afternoon is hovering 10,000 feet above the earth like a giant mechanized hummingbird, then the R66 turbine helicopter is your dream come true. The R66 is the latest and most advanced creation from Robinson Helicopter, a family-owned business since 1973, and currently the world's leading manufacturer of civilian helicopters. Kurt Robinson, son of Robinson founder Frank Robinson, explains how the company was created. The Robinson Helicopter Company was started in 1973 by my father, uh, Frank Robinson, who had previously worked for uh, all of the other major helicopter companies and had actually gone to them and proposed the idea of a, of a light, two-place personal helicopter that anybody could own. The challenges of creating civilian helicopters were many, as development of the first Robinson helicopter took over six years. We're looking at, at the R-22, which is actually the aircraft that started everything. It was, it was truly the aircraft that my father, back in the 60s and 70s, um, went to both Bell Helicopters and Hughes Helicopters and, and suggested that they, that they produce something similar to this aircraft. But the primary focus for Bell and Hughes was the military and government markets. Kurt recalls his father's epiphany. Somebody would have to go out and build a helicopter and focus solely on the commercial market. So with that thought in mind, he literally, back in 73, he quit his job at Hughes and he started working out of our home on the design of the R-22. Robinson began production with its two-seater R-22 in 1979, and its popularity as a reliable and safe aircraft led to strong demand for a larger model. So we took the ideas from the R-22 and then we developed them into the R-44, which is a four-place helicopter. But with the creation of the Robinson R-66 five-seat turbine-powered helicopter, the bar has been raised. The R66 steps up in class with a turbine engine that allows one to soar to an otherworldly 10,000 feet and stay there for as long as you like. The engine is manufactured by Rolls Royce. It's the RR300 engine, it's a single stage compressor, uh, puts out a little under uh, 300 horsepower. And with views from its polycarbonate windshield, rivaled only by those from the Space Shuttle, the Robinson R66 perfectly combines the thrill of flight with the wonder and magnificence of a top-of-the-world perspective for its passengers. The R66 boasts numerous technological advancements, including pilot-side avionics console. And if modern materials are your thing, you'll be wowed by the R66 super lightweight aluminum cabin, fiberglass roof and polycarbonate windshield. Lightweight construction and a state-of-the-art turbine engine allow the R66 to speed through the skies at 130 miles per hour, and for the cost of $805,000. With over 1,000 employees, including engineers who have been with the company for over 20 years, Robinson fosters a sense of family and unity in their helicopters. The R66 parts are manufactured in-house, resulting in a new helicopter to be assembled in less than four months. Robinson maintains the highest level of safety and reliability, performing most operations at their Torrance facility. What our engineers are concentrating on when they're designing, first and foremost, is, is to make a simple, reliable helicopter. There's nothing that's wasted or added to it. We don't set out to design a sexy looking helicopter. This is something that, that actually, if we do our job right, if the engineers look at it and uh, add simplicity to it, uh, what you can come down with is actually a very elegant looking aircraft. The R66 is the perfect combination of simplicity, precision, and technological know-how. 
so if your greatest desire is to feel the rush of freedom of flight, the R66 delivers. Coming up next, a bulletproof security vehicle. Hailing from the Great White North, Conquest Vehicles of Toronto, Canada introduces the world's first and only hand-built, fully armoured, ultra-luxurious SUV. Inspired by military vehicle designs and created to provide the ultimate mobile fortress, the Knight XV is guaranteed to turn heads and turn away bullets. The armoured version is actually made of ballistic hardened steel. So we actually make the case and then uh, we bring it over and we set it on top of the chassis which sits on a Freightliner chassis. It's a Cummins diesel, diesel engine and we can also do them in gas which would be on a GM. So everything that we make in this vehicle is effectively hand built. Before the Knight XV's massive silhouette shocked the automotive world, there were precious few options for the high net worth, security obsessed individual. While standard cars could be customized with aftermarket armor and enhancements, these vehicles had too many weaknesses to truly provide ironclad peace of mind to their owners. The genesis of the Knight XV really came from uh, the inspiration of a military vehicle. So it took about two years from conception and R&D and engineering. We basically tapped into the Canadian resources, Canadian car manufacturing resources, armoring experts, upholsterers, people that we really felt could bring an incredible product to the table. And the end result turned out to be the Knight XV. Hand-built to include every possible security feature and luxury, the Knight XV utilizes the very best in engineering and technology to create the world's safest SUV. We have a number of unique properties in the vehicle, from offering clients such options as flat screen retractable plasma televisions in our entertainment packages, Bluetooth wireless, cameras, laptop availability, all the way to our security options, which range from black boxes that you would see in a commercial aircraft, um, oxygen containment and survival systems that we'll build into it. So really, we have a number of different security options and luxury options that we know that our clients want. The XV weighs in at a whopping 13,000 pounds, but it's bulk rocket propelled by a V10 engine, which can leave any pursuit in the dust. The XV features an armored body and transparent armor, also known as bulletproof glass. Only the highest quality high street steel, ballistic aluminum, composites, aramid, and ceramics are used in the manufacturing of the Knight XV's opaque armor. Conquest Vehicles tests all of the Knight XV's armor plate, transparencies, and composites in accordance with the highest quality control standards. Tests are performed at a range of 5 meters using factory ammunition that has been weighed prior to firing to ensure that it meets the required norms. All of the ballistic glass used in the XV is produced by the leading manufacturers of ballistic transparencies. Due to the added weight of the transparent and opaque armor in doors, the door hinges are reinforced using a proprietary system to completely avoid hinge failure and prevent sheet metal fatigue around the hinge system. The XV features numerous mounted cameras, including several with night vision capabilities. The Knight XV has two cameras on the front, two on the back, so the driver at all times can see during the day and at night what's surrounding him. Thanks to these high-end cameras, XV owners can even remote view their armored mobile monster via their laptop or smartphone if they desire. From the time that a client places the order to the time that they receive their Knight XV is about an eight-month process. And during the process, what we do is we invite the clients into our production facility in Toronto to view their, their actual Knight being built at various stages. And if they can't make it, what we do is we're constantly in contact with them. So we're sending them photos of their Knight being built in the process. So it's very exciting for the client to know that um, you know, a bespoke luxury armored manufacturer will go ahead and take these steps to engage with their client at that level. The new 2012 Knight XV manages to surpass its previous models, incorporating the latest in technology to deliver the very best in today's security and automotive marketplace. Coming up next, we travel to Switzerland to visit a groundbreaking vehicle that gets over 200 miles per gallon. Then, Tech Toy seeks to solve the great mystery of water hydration for bicycle riders everywhere.
travel to Winterthur, Switzerland to reveal the latest futuristic vehicle. It's a sport car. It's a motorcycle. Well, actually, it's an inspired combination of both. Introducing the Paravis Monotracer, the world's first fully enclosed motorcycle. This state-of-the-art vehicle is sure to turn heads as it leaves onlookers in the dust. The e-tracer is the brainchild of Roger Reedner, the CEO of Paravis. Uh, the monotracer is currently the world's only uh, two-seat uh, cabin motorcycle, and the basic idea behind it is uh, to combine the best of both worlds. So you take the, uh, the weather protection, the uh, passenger protection, uh, the comfort, luggage space, long-range ability of a car, and you combine it uh, with the uh, agility, the small space in traffic, and the uh, riding fun of a motorcycle. As one of the X-Prize winners, this highly stylized modern marvel tackled the environment head-on, taking the title as the most energy-efficient two-seater. Paravis's talented team of engineers produced a futuristic vehicle boasting unrivaled performance and stylized looks, surpassing the most green vehicles. Paravis started uh, fiddling around with the cabin motorcycle about uh, 28 years ago, and uh, the first 20 years were uh, basically uh, prototypes built for friends. We ended up building the world's most energy-efficient, high-performance two-seater. Powered by Li-ion batteries and an electric motor, this Swiss wonder has reduced its carbon footprint. Its electric batteries provide the equivalent of 200 miles per gallon. If you have a normal household plug, then it takes you around six hours. But the built-in charger has the ability to recharge the vehicle in less than one hour. And its performance is equally impressive. This lightning-fast vehicle owns a top speed of 155 miles per hour and an acceleration that rivals nearly anything on the road today. Nought to 60 in less than five seconds. Advanced vehicles such as airplanes and speedboats lean into corners. The e-tracer is no exception, with a 52 degree of lean angle. At low speeds or when undergoing steep angle turns, the e-tracer's retractable lateral stabilizer wheels lower themselves to provide stability. The super vehicle has achieved top efficient energy usage by designing tandem seats in the passenger compartment. Tandem seating allows one horsepower to do the work of three or four in vehicles with traditional three across seating. Putting your passenger behind you uh, basically uh, saves you two thirds of the energy uh, you need to move a vehicle forward. An aircraft designer would never put uh, two handed passengers side by side. The tandem seats are Recaro contour seats with three point automatic safety belts and are as luxurious as those in any high end sports car. The e-tracer relies on superior materials of Dupont Kevlar fiber. This composite is bonded by epoxy resin and reinforced with crash and roll bars. The innovative technology is unrivaled, but it's the futuristic design that will have admirers at nearly every turn. The e-tracer features entry via a super cool gull wing door. The e-tracer has recently been logged into the Guinness Book of Records as the fastest, most efficient and dynamic electric vehicle in the world. It's no rocket science. If you want to reduce your, your carbon footprint, you've got to reduce size. In this case, size really matters. These hand-built and high-performance exclusive driving machines will have a maximum production run of 100 vehicles a year and cost $100,000. Pedaling into action with an exciting breakthrough in bicycle hydration systems is the Velo 42 Bicycle Mounted Hydration System by Showers Pass of Portland, Oregon. Until recently, cyclists had two imperfect options for carrying drinking water on rides. Bottles in frame-mounted cages and hydration backpacks with sipping tubes. 
The Velo Hydration System is an advancement in cycling hydration. It is hands down the easiest, safest, most convenient system available to cyclists today. The Velo 42 is unique in that it takes the water off of the person's back and puts it onto the bicycle. What makes it different from other hydration systems is the way the tube routes on the bicycle allows it to easily reach up to the rider while they're riding without requiring the rider to assume a different position on the bicycle. The Velo was invented by two engineers with a love for cycling to remedy the challenge of carrying sufficient hydration during ultra-endurance mountain bike races. It was several years ago I purchased a new mountain bike. It's a fabulous bicycle. However, it has this limitation of the one water bottle cage that's mounted on the, on the down side of the down tube. It's simply not accessible. It's known as the suicide cage, and the manufacturer of the bicycle recommends not using it when you're riding. I was at the same time training for a 100-mile mountain bike race called the Cascade Cream Puff. I was given advice by one of my good friends out on a training ride. One of the really key points he gave me was, whatever you do, you really probably don't want to wear that hydration pack for 12 hours in the middle of July. The unique and innovative Velo design solves the cycling hydration conundrum by shifting the burden of carrying hydration equipment from rider to bicycle. I was out skiing at Mount Hood one day and it just came to me as I was riding up a lift. I could put a hydration system onto the bicycle, route a tube forward and use it as uh, much as a camelback, but on a bicycle. The history of cycling is littered with accidents that occurred due to riders' ill-fated attempts to reach for inconveniently placed water bottles. Bodily injury, equipment damage and lost glory may now be a thing of the past. For never again will riders have to risk life and limb for a thirst-quenching sip of H2O. The Velo utilizes a specially shaped 42-ounce container with twice the capacity of a standard cycling water bottle. A durable ratchet strap holds the Velo tightly against the saddle. A polyurethane tube runs out the bottom of the reservoir and is guided up to the base of the handlebar stem. The design includes two patent-pending retractable magnetic reels, allowing the rider to safely access the bike valve. These retracting reels keep the drinking tube held securely in place, even while riding the roughest of terrains. A lot of people who are hardcore cyclists, at first they look at it and they say, I don't know. And after they go out and they ride with it once, they just say, you can't have it back. I just had no idea. And, just, and what they're talking about is they had no idea what a pain the water bottle really truly is. Ideal for all types of cycling, be it mountain, road, triathlon, touring, commuting, or even recreational cycling. The Velo appeals to riders of all abilities and styles, simply because of its ease of use. The Velo, in effect, turns any bicycle into a water-toting camel. And at just $79, it's a lot less expensive. Plus, it won't bite. Next, we'll travel to Italy, where an innovative design transforms a favorite game into a work of art. Soccer, or football, as it is known around the globe, is the world's most popular sport, enjoyed by billions. And unlike most other sports, there is an exciting version of this dynamic game that can actually be played in your home. And we're not referring to a video game. It's foosball, the hard-smacking real-action table game that die-hard enthusiasts have been playing for generations. Usually relegated to pool halls and pizza parlors, this super fun form of soccer has now had a full 21st century makeover that is as faithful to the game as it is amazing to behold. This reworked game piece comes from the creative minds at Adriano Design and B-Lab Italia. We commissioned the Adriano brothers to produce a generic piece of furniture made of glass. They pleasantly surprised us with a reinterpretation of a toy. The Tackle Crystal Luxury Foosball Table is nothing short of a masterpiece in both design and engineering. Tackle games spare no expense of materials and design work in the creation of artistic table games. But the real challenge is working with the glass, cutting the glass, gluing of the corners, 
and managing to fold it to form a diamond requires the best in craftsmanship. B-Lab executes this with perfect precision. Each part is produced and hand-assembled by the most skilled Italian craftsman in Gallarati, Italy. This stunning foosball table has been fully re-engineered from the ground up. Engineers and designers have intelligently integrated super strong materials and a striking appearance to create a fully functional work of interactive art. Precision to detail and artistry are core to the philosophy for B-Lab and Adriano Design. These ultra-cool foosball tables are constructed of strengthened chromed aluminum parts and styled with beautiful natural finishes. But a truly incredible feature is the super impact resistant transparent crystal glass used to construct the playing field and side walls of this elite foosball table. This transparent effect gives the players a sense the game is floating in air. Weighing in at over 100 kilograms, the Tekel foosball table is both durable and functional. Integrated, sophisticated technology allows one to handle the intensity this game can bring out, yet can rest elegantly in the middle of a room as an emotional piece of modern art. The idea was to transform a plain object like a foosball table into something precious, into a jewel, a jewel that could enter our homes again. The Tekel exceeds design expectations and delivers in both form and function. This wonder game is considered a piece of art, displayed in lobbies and luxury hotels around the world. Priced around 10,000 US dollars, these handcrafted Uber table games are for the most discerning of foosball aficionados. There are toys that are super fun to play, and then those that reinvent through technology and design. Clearly, Tekel Crystal Tables have scored the winning goal in foosball sophistication.